XBank AI Tech Days. What can we expect from this XBank event? What was presented last year and what is going to be presented this year? Let's talk a little bit about this. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ugu and this is the XBank G6 Diaries. If you are new to this channel, I do publish here my journey from an ICE car to an EV and mainly with my XBank G6 car. So welcome. And of course, subscribe to the channel and activate that bell there so that you are notified about new videos. What is XBank AI Tech Days? This is basically just a early event that XBank does to present advanced on technology, new launches, new areas of investment and what they are doing. So this is a really nice event and they will be um, transmitting that uh, live in several platforms and I will tell you all about that. So very quickly, let me show you first what was presented in the last year. So 2023, as you can see here, so this is coming from the XPeng website. It said that on 2023 Tech Day, there was an advance on leadership in intelligent driving and AI defined mobility. So it was introduced the XNGP ADAS rollout plan for the first batch of cities without HD map coverage. There was the launch of AE AI valid driver smart driving features for urban commuting and frequent travel routes. Um, they introduced the XPeng Ultimate Architecture for Full Scenario ADAS capabilities. They showed the fifth generation smart cockpit operating system and they showed uh, the new uh, SEPA 2.0 architecture and the new XPeng X9 MPV. So you can see here that it was presented that XNGP was actively undergoing engineering testing to expand its availability for urban roadways. So XNGP is currently available in five cities, in China of course, and XPeng plans to roll out XNGP function in additional 20 cities that are not covered by HD maps by the end of November 2023. Okay, so this will um, be then extended to 50 cities by year end. So in 2023, they were expecting already to be in 50 cities in China. Also, they talked about the um, ADAS feature, the new ADAS feature that was the AI valid driver. So basically, after activating this function, drivers could set the start and end points anywhere in the city and then the car would drive by itself. So self-driving from point A to point B, fully autonomous. On 2024, again, the event was held in November and it was presented not only flying cars, also, the AI Touring Chip was presented in that event, but also the extended range hybrid system that they had. So you can see here on the image um, that was presented the first hybrid uh, extended range hybrid systems from XPeng. It was presented on this event. So it was said that the vehicles equipped with the Kongpeng system, so the hybrid extended range, would have a combined range of up 1,400 kilometers and the battery range for up to 430 kilometers. But the most important topic of the 2024 uh, event was the Turing AI ships that was presented as part of the um, needed equipment for the XNGP and currently is already in some vehicles in China and of course in the new P7, as you already know. So the big topic of these AI chips is that it was the first chip developed by XPeng itself, so leaving NVIDIA chips to make their own chips and they can be used in AI cars, AI robots and flying cars. It was also announced a different platform that says that it's an AI auto neural system designed for L4 autonomous driving scenarios. A 33 increase in communication bandwidth, 12 times increase in speed of which the cameras output images and 72% reduction in Sentinel mode power consumption. The Turing chip is the brain of AI cars and the Kengai platform is its neural network. And then they talk about this, that XPeng will use multiple Turing AI chips in the Ultra Series models that we don't have in Europe, and it will use the Kengai platform to create a new form of robo-taxi. So they are entering in the robo-taxi 
world. And then finally, the flying cars. So if you remember in 2023, it was announced that they were having a couple of pets for flying cars. But in these events, one year after, they told about um, that they will have the first world debut public flight at the China Hair Show in November and it will begin pre-sales in December. And then finally, it was also presented the humanoid robot Iron. Okay, so this was the first time that the Iron robot was presented also by Xpeng in this AI tech event. So as you can see, 2023, they start talking about AI, they talked about flying cars, they talked about increasing of autonomous driving. In the year next, they were talking about the new ships that can provide these capabilities to robots, to robot taxis, etc. An increase of capacity, the Turing ships, and um, now we are reaching 2025. So what can we expect from this year event? So this is the flyer of the 2025 AI day. So it seems that they left the tech. So now it's only 2025 AI day. They call it emergence. And this is the flyer. So here it is. Uh, this is the release note from Xpeng saying that they will uh, held this 2025 Xpeng AI day event called and teamed emergence on Wednesday, November 5th, 2025. These will have an English language replay that will be available after the live broadcast. So you can uh, uh, attend or listen to a live um, broadcast from Xpeng, but it will be in Chinese. And then an English version will be available immediately after. So what can we expect from this? It's at this day, Xpeng AI Day, Xpeng will spotlight the latest breakthroughs and future development roadmap of the Xpeng's in-house developed AI technology with key focuses on including physical AI, robot taxi and other pioneering advances. So let's change here to CNEV post where they talk and usually they anticipate what it's going to be presented on these events. So they say that they have multiple surprising capabilities emerge in the field of physical AI. So it seems that the focus of the topic will be physical AI and we will talk about what is physical AI in a minute. So it says that physical AI defines the next decade. It shapes how people travel and live. Okay, so let's see if they, we have here some more details. So they have demonstrated surprisingly capabilities in physical AI, not just one, but multiple, wrote He Chiapeng, chairman of the C and CEO of the uh, Xpeng. So physical AI defines the new decades, how people travel, live, and coexist with super intelligent agents. Machines will evolve behind um, mere command executing tools into partners capable of proactively navigating complex environments and co-creating with humans. Let me go here for what is physical AI. So basically, physical AI is real-world interaction. So physical AI systems are designed to sense, process data and act in the physical world, unlike digital AI systems that operate in a purely digital space. Okay, so let me increase here so that you can read better this with me. So I just search what is physical AI and I'm giving you the information. So it gives also sensory input. So they use a variety of sensors, cameras, microphones, LiDAR, radars to gather data from their environment. So we already know about this. It's um, known that our cars, and I will try to focus on the cars, we have already cameras, we have some um, uh, some other types of sensors that can be used. Learning and adaptation. These systems can learn from their experience, adapting to changing conditions and complex scenarios to perform tasks that go beyond pre-programmed automation. So this is one of the biggest topics. So let's go a little, a little bit further here. So how it differs from traditional AI. Uh, so traditional AI often interacts with humans or data in a digital space, so such as financial recommendation system or a chatbot. So like ChatGPT, for instance. So it's intelligent, it can adapt, but it's only on the digital space. 
Physical AI directly bridges the gap between the digi digital and physical, using AI to enable a machine to perform physical tasks or solve physical problems. And this can be applicable for industrial automation, let's not go there, transportation, so enabling safe and autonomous navigation for vehicles, healthcare and retail and logistics. So to finalize, let's go for another news that I found um, that I didn't react uh, in the channel that uh, shows how Xpeng is focusing on this AI topic. So you can see here that Xpeng replaced the head of the smart driving recently. So it, uh, this was published on October 10th. Um, there was a new, there is a new head of the smart driving um, department um, of Xpeng. This new person has um, a big and deep knowledge on AI. So Xpeng is indeed changing the focus from the traditional autonomous driving systems to AI. And again, they say that Xpeng will announce major breakthroughs in physical AI. So this is it, guys. So I do anticipate uh, some breakthroughs on this um, physical AI topic. And uh, with that, uh, the improvement on how the cars and um, the new things that uh, um, Xpeng is launching with the robots, robot taxis, and also flying cars can benefit from that. So I do believe that this event will be focused on this physical AI and um, the improvements and an enhancements of uh, what we can then uh, anticipate and achieve based on these evolutions. So let's see what, what happens. Uh, again, the event will be live broadcasted uh, by Xpeng on November 5th um, on YouTube and I believe that also on the Instagram uh, and all other social media platforms, but uh, on Chinese, but the English version will be then published after the live broadcast. So let's wait, let's see what Xpeng has to bring to us. I am really anticipating because every single year was nice uh, evolutions, nice information from uh, Xpeng. So I do anticipate nice topics for this year also. So let's see it. Thank you very much again, guys. This was the video that I plan to do today. If you were not aware of these AI Tech Days, you are now. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.